Welcome to the topic. Electric field. From the previous classes you might have got an understanding about the forces between two or multiple charges. So the interaction between two charges is based on the Coulomb's law. So now the question is. How does the interaction among the charges itself will occur? Let's consider a point charge which is kept at a point in space or vacuum. Now another. Point charge is placed at a certain distance from. The first point charge. Then it experiences a force of attraction or repulsion. This is called an action at a distance. So the question is. How does the. Second charge know about existence of the. First charge which is located at a certain distance away from it. If the first point charge is removed. Then what is in the surrounding region? So. Is there. Nothing. If there is nothing at the point where the first charge was. Then how does a force act? When the first charge is placed in its point. Oops. Confused. Here we go. To answer all these questions. Michael. Faraday introduced the concept of field. According to Faraday. Every charge which is in. The universe creates an electric field around it in the surrounding space. So if another charge. Comes into its field. It will interact with the electric field at that point and will experience a force. Now let's consider a source point charge Q which is located at a point in the space. Another point charge Q, zero. Which is the test charge is kept at a certain distance R at point P from the charge Q. So an electrostatic force gets exerted by the charge Q, zero. Due to Q, which is given by Coulomb's laws. F is equal to K into Q. Into Q, zero divided by r square and the whole multiplied by vector r where k is equal to 1 divided by 4 into pi into epsilon 0 here the charge q creates an electric field in the surrounding space around it within which its effect can be felt by another charge it is called electric field which is denoted as vector e the word field signifies how certain distributed quantity could be a scalar or a vector which varies with position. The effect of the charge has incorporated in the existence of the electric field. So the electric field is defined as the force that would be experienced by a unit positive charge placed at the point P. This is given as E is equal to F divided by Q, 0 which is equal to k into q divided by r square and the whole multiplied by vector r. Where both q, 0, gets cancelled. Now substitute the value of k. You will get the electric field. Here r vector is an unit vector pointing from q to the point p. So the electric field is a vector quantity. Its s, i, unit is newton per coulomb. Hope you might have got a basic understanding on this concept. So stay tuned for the next video.